This year, on March 11th, the NBA was shut down due to the virus. It has been two months and a half since then, and there has been many false reports of the season continuing or being canceled. But in the last few days, there has been a report that Disney is the front runner for where the NBA will continue. What's up guys, it's your boy, and today we will be talking about the NBA's return and how it will work. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more quality content, and into the video. Although Stephen A has said he expects the NBA to return by June, and many players have advocated for the league's return, there is no set date for the league to return. It's crazy that we would be in the conference finals right now, but instead we're here hoping for playoffs. Adam Silver has said in 2-4 to four weeks, there will be a final decision. Some teams have opened their practice facility for workouts with only 4 players at a time. If the NBA goes to Disney World, it will be very risky. For example, what if one single player gets the virus? Everything might have to get cancelled because you wouldn't know how long he has had it and exactly where he has been. And there will be way more people than just the players, with the coaches, the assistant coaches, the crew, the training staff, and more. What's to say that someone from the camera doesn't sneak out of Disney World to go do something? I'm not saying it's likely, but what if he's not too bright and ignores the rules? And there will be some dumb fans who try to sneak into Disney, so you have to get enough security, which is more people you have to worry about leaving or potentially having the virus. Players will have their own house of some sort, which they can use to have their families with them. Disney World is definitely big enough to hold all these people, but it still might be cramped. And as a situation, you must think about it, is that if the Lakers are facing the Clippers and Paul George gets the virus, do you wait for him to return or do you continue the series? And if you do continue the series, it will have a huge asterisk to it. And the teams who were competing for the 8th seed in the West, such as the Portland Trail Blazers, the Pelicans, and the Kings, who were on a roll before the season was cancelled, would you just do a mini playoffs for them to determine who gets the 8th seed? But you can't do that just for one conference, you would have to do it in the East well. But no other East teams deserve to be in the playoffs, with the ninth seed being the Washington Wizards, who are projected to win only 30 games. I think they should just go straight into the playoffs with the same seeds, especially because it wouldn't be fair to Memphis, who have surprised everyone and have been better than all of the teams below them. It would be interesting if the players from opposing teams could watch the games in the arena. It would be cool to see their reactions since there's no fans allowed. Shaq has said that he believes who wins this championship will have a huge asterisk next to it, but I believe the opposite because the team that stays focused during this pandemic shows the true heart of a championship and they have plenty of determination. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more quality NBA content and check out my other videos and I'm out.